Good morning, good morning, you guys. I am headed off to work. My grandmother's about to drop me off. Run a little bit late, but nonetheless, I'm up and at it. And my son is not listening currently. Get your butt in the car. But, um, yeah, I have a phone call, an important phone call that I'm supposed to get today. So, y'all, I'm praying for some good news. So, like I was saying, I'm praying for good news um, for me and my baby to get housed somewhere. Y'all, it's been a long week. It's been a long week. But I'm surviving. I just got a chance to be able to pray last night and read my Bible and everything like that. I got to keep my phone near me because I know they'll be calling soon. So, yeah. But I hope you guys are having a great morning. Today is currently Thursday, I believe. Thursday, August 4th. Yes. So, um, they told me, I, I think I had called the day before yesterday, and they told me that a victim's advocate was supposed to be reaching out to me today. So, that's the call that I'm waiting for. Once I hear from them, I'll let you guys know, like, what's going on and stuff like that. Yeah, I hear my son turn already. <laughs> already this morning. He only been up, like, a good probably hour or so. And he turned already. But, yeah. Praying for good news. Praying for good news. Praying for good news. In the name of Jesus. Many unbearable hours later. What are you crying for? What is this? What do you have in your hand, sir? A puppet. Yeah, you don't need a puppet book. You don't even know how to write yet. Like, well, you know how to write, but you don't need a notebook. So, y'all, we are in big lots. And Eli is just way too excited. He see all this stuff. Yeah, we're not getting that. We're not getting any toys. But they got some really cute back to school stuff for the kids. I need to start back to school shopping for him. But everything that's going on, it's like so hard. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to get him in school on time. I'm hurrying that I do, but it's just not guaranteed at the moment. Um, however... I told y'all that I would talk to y'all a little bit later about everything. And right now is not the time for that. I'll talk to y'all when I get home. But I didn't get the news that I was expecting, in other words. But we're in here with my grandmother and my aunt and Big Lots. And they have a lot of stuff for, like, homes and stuff. Like, if you're on a budget and stuff. Let me show y'all. So, they got stuff, like, for your kitchen. This stuff is, like, $6.00. Um, five dollars they got like salt and pepper shakers for $2.99 a dollar they got like little drying racks and y'all they just put an at home next door <laughs> next door to here they just opened like not too long ago so now they got competition but you know at home stuff is very really expensive so probably better off coming here if you're trying to be on a budget and stuff i got all of this stuff already for when i get my apartment i gotta start working on like me and eli's room because i wanted to kind of do our rooms over and then the bathroom and stuff but yeah they have a lot of stuff in here for like some really decent prices if you're not trying to go cheap cheap like the dollar store see like these frying pans are only 9.99 these are not bad at all they seem sturdy it seems sturdy for ten dollars you can't beat that y'all let's see y'all look at this you get this cutting board and these four knives just for ten dollars like that's a good deal and then you get this one right here with four knives and the kitchen scissors for just eight dollars i know where i'll be coming when i need to re-up on knives and all of that stuff they got all these different cutting boards all these different pans and pots, Tupperware. This is expensive. Probably could get those on Amazon. They got comforter sets. Yes, Eli. Or Auntie Tootie. I don't know where Auntie Tootie is. Then all these lamps. I wonder how much they are. Let's look. Okay. 
Ooh, child. They trying to get me in trouble in here. I don't see no prices on this stuff. I'm really curious. I don't see. But let's look down here, y'all. Look at all the cute mugs. This one is so cute. Look at this. It's only $5. That's cute. All these different ones. The little Winnie the Pooh one up there. What's this one? The man, the myth, the legend. Hmm. We got some nice stuff. Little gravy boats. It's cute. So cute. Y'all, I know where I am coming, okay? I forgot all about this store. But, like, look. This is mad cute. Put your utensils in here. Like your cooking utensils and stuff. Mad cute. And then y'all, they got furniture as well. Of course it would be music playing, right? But they got all this different furniture that you can choose from. And they're really decently priced too. And you can go on a payment plan if you want. You don't necessarily have to buy this stuff straight out. Um, I know one of my brothers had got like a bedroom set from here. And he paid it off within like a year or two years time. But yeah, like this stuff is really decent. You don't see this type of stuff nowhere anymore. For the prices, like everything is just so expensive. They got some nice stuff over here. They got beds as well. And then for like, I just can't wait. I'm envisioning like my own apartment right now with everything in it look at these little tables and stuff this would be perfect for me and my baby and if we had guests over we have two extra chairs that we can put in there as well like this is this is really like the way to go i really like that one all the way up here let's go over to it this is cute look only 350 this is not bad at all i even like that one too hey guys so it's the next day and <laughs> I fell asleep, so I didn't get a chance to talk to you guys about everything that's been going on. Um, but, anyhow, I'm so tired of talking about this situation. But, um, I had a victim's advocate call me uh, Thursday. Yes, Thursday, which was yesterday. Today's Friday. Um, and they basically was telling me how um you know there's all the shelters are full so we're not going to be able to be placed there but we can be placed on a wait list and then they told me that you know they would pay for like first month's rent and security but i would have to maintain the rent after that and y'all these rents here where i live at in connecticut are expensive because the area that i live around is like around yale so they just want to rent to these college students. You know, their parents got money. I'm trying to get there. I don't have the type of money that their parents have. So everything is just so sky high because they really don't want to rent to us minorities, you know. So now I'm like looking for other work, like other jobs and stuff to pay because the job that I have, it pays decent, but it's just not enough to maintain my home by myself and then utilities as well so um that's one thing that i have been doing like looking for work me and my um aunt was working on my resume last night so that's like in the works or whatever because it's, it's a lot of jobs out here and i don't mind working it's just mainly you know how i'm gonna get my son back and forth to school making sure that he's in school first of all and then being able to maintain two jobs if that's what i have to do um, because I don't want to give up my first job because I really like that job. So 
I was like, you know, if I can get something that, you know, works with my schedule after I leave my first job, then, you know, that'll work for me. So, basically, that's what's been going on or whatever. So, I'm just kind of, like, just sitting still, like, a little sitting duck or whatever. But my grandmother, she's been, like, very, very amazing. So, um, she's like, you can stay here as long as you need to until you get on your feet, like, good. So, that's a good thing. But I have been, like, you know, telling 211, you know, it's an emergency. Like, me and my baby's on the street. Like, I had to give them, like, this homeless story to make it seem like my situation was urgent or whatever even though i am like fleeing my abuser but i'm somewhere safe but they don't know that <laughs> um so i've been giving them this story about me being in and out of like 24 hour uh you know stores and stuff like that just kind of trying to you know urge them to do something but um they haven't really been able to do anything but I have other people that's behind me that's helping me like try to find affordable housing or apartments and stuff like that so I'm very grateful for that I feel good today actually um the last couple of days I've been feeling down but I'm trying to turn my stinking thinking around with like positive things um you know think about the positive and stuff like that because if I continue to think negative or you know be in a negative place then that's just what's gonna you know be my reality so i'm trying to stay uplifted and everything eli's over somewhere over here oh he on the floor down there i don't know if y'all can see him he on his tablet mm -hmm. but um i'm about to go ahead and make breakfast it's kind of late right now brunch. um mm -hmm. well brunch yeah because it's it's 11 22 and um i'm probably gonna get eli out the house today i don't know what we're gonna do there is a carnival um in town well across town so i don't know if i'm gonna bring him there or bring him to like a park or something like that but i do want to bring him out because he's been suffering as much as i've been suffering and you know kids don't really know even though he's been repeating everything but he don't understand like that he's in a different living environment from his home like what we used to call home so I just want to be able to, like, relieve a little bit of stress off of him because I know it's been stressful for him as well. You know, that's that's a drastic change, you know, having to live with somebody else that he don't normally live with. But like I said, my grandmother is, is good to us. So it's been a little bit of weight lifted off my shoulders, but I'll I'll really be good once I get my own place. So. That's what I'm working towards, you guys. If you guys can just continuously keep us in prayer and that we find something, um, that'll be good. So, yeah, about to start breakfast and, you know, get our day started and stuff like that. Pick back up the camera then. But I hope you guys are blessed. I hope you guys are having a great morning and you guys have a fantastic day. And, yeah. just made it to the oh, fair the oh 
what's wrong with my hair? Is that? Oh, it's just glistening from the <laughs> stuff in it. Where are you going? Uh-uh. Lila, come here. So, y'all, we just made it to the fairgrounds. There's a lot of people here. I thought a lot of people probably be leaving by now, but a lot of people just came in. Hey, y'all, turn around. Turn around, turn around. Say hi. Yay! Elijah is excited. He talking about some. Mom, we're here yet? Mom, we're here yet? I'm like, not yet. Then we start pulling up, going a little bit slow. He like, Mom, we're here? I say, yeah, we're here. We got to park first. You excited, Eli? Yeah. <laughs> what ride do you want to get on first? All of them. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All of them. Wow, look at that. Yes, look at that. You excited? <laughs> Uh oh, Eli. You ready? Oh, look, they got the little swings for the little people. You want to go? I'm not putting you on there. Eli, you ready? Big boy, big boy. Uh oh. Oh yeah. <laughs> you like about to slide off. <laughs> How was it? How was it, Eli? It was fun. All right. Let's go, Auntie. Y'all look at my aunt. Eli up there too with them. He all the way in the end. <laughs> Hi! Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have rides, we have games, we have food, and we have fireworks tomorrow. Courtney says fireworks tomorrow night. So join us tomorrow night at 10 o'clock for fireworks. Fireworks. It's my ticket right now. It's 5050. Help support our fireworks and buy a ticket right now. Right now, it's a dollar ticket. And when you're hundreds of dollars, you gotta come to the raffle Your chance to win will be coming up in one hour from now. Woo! <laughs> yeah, he did for his birthday last year. I spent all that money for tickets, and this this thing is ten dollars. Yeah. So I want to go on that, mom. I want to go on that. Who said that? Uh, the guy down there. Then I'm gonna fire his ass. Thank you. <laughs> Let's go, Jordy! <laughs> <laughs> Y'all 
because he had it at the target. No, you had it. Yeah, he did it the longest. Yeah. Which one you want, Jordan? Which one you want? What, the one in the middle? This one. This one. You want that one? Thank you. Oh, look what you got. You got a teddy bear. Say thanks, Jordan. <laughs> right? <laughs> I know. That's what Eli been dying to play one of these games since we got in here. He had it though. He was like this. And he started moving. And then, like, you know, I got him on the leg. Like this. Your leg was shaking. <laughs> Y'all, they about to go up this big old slide. Yo, we about to let him ride a pony for the first time. It's the first time that he's ever ridden a pony, so. You ready? My baby on a pony. Woo -woo. Look at my baby on a pony. Look at you, Eli. You're riding a horse. <laughs> Uh-oh. This is first time ever riding on an animal. I don't think he ever rode on any other animal. Oh, yeah? This is a pretty horse, too. Uh-oh. Oh, he wants to go faster. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He want to get it up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Look at my son. He want to giddy up. My son beat up, flew off that horse. <laughs> Woo! Look at you, man. Eli, you pet the pony? You touch his hair? Ooh. <laughs> Eli said, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was so cute. I'm so proud of him. I'm so proud of you, Eli. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Go, Eli. Go, Eli. Uh-oh. 
Uh oh, go ahead, go up there, go stand up there. Go ahead, stand. No, you gotta stand. <laughs> Turn around. Turn around. And you're gonna pull one. Y'all, the guy that won the winning ticket that Elijah pulled just gave him $20. So he want to go play more games, but we're going to go get some food first. But my boy on fire tonight. What do you want? We have uh, Iron Man. That's pretty cool. He's a boy. You like that? Boy. How much is that? Uh, those are $15. $15? You, you want the Minecraft? Yeah. Okay. How much is the Minecraft? 15, 15 okay. Yeah. My son plays, I can't figure it out. Yeah. I don't know what. Yeah. Yeah. 